So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I would like to thank first Honda Cars Philippines for this lend out of the all new Honda Brio RS. And as well special thanks to everyone here at Honda Cars Manila Bay for allowing me to shoot here. So time and time again, I have featured this Brio RS many times on my channel. So we had the walk around review and the test drive review specifically here too where I shot it here at Honda Cars Manila Bay. This specific Brio we have here is the Brio RS CVT top of the line variant. So in addition of this uh, top of the line goodness, we have a black roof, LED lights with fog lamps too, RS design piano black grill along too with an RS emblem, 15 inch alloy wheels, power folding side mirrors with repeaters, and to a tailgate spoiler with a third LED brake light. Comparing with the pre-faced lift model, a massive upgrade here is definitely the LED lights including two with the fog lamps which I am a very very big fan of and driving this over at night is as well one of the brightest headlights in this class. Very eye-catching with this Honda Brio right? So this color is an electric lime green color so one of two new colors available for the Honda Brio including the stellar white diamond. Pairing this Honda Brio RS is a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated 4 cylinder engine that produces 89 horsepower and 110 newton meters of torque. Most Brios are mated to a CVT transmission and this is why this Honda Brio is a very special vehicle because this is the only one in its class that has a 4 cylinder engine. Now here on the side profile of the Honda Brio RS. This Brio overall is one of the more larger subcompact hatchbacks that you can buy today. And being the RS top of the line van, there's this like uh, nice skirts here on either side. And two, like what I said, you get 15 inch wheels. Again, this makes this one of the largest ones you can get in this segment. Another signature look of the Honda Brio, you get this crab claw like taillights. There are all LEDs too, RS badges yet again. And once you open up the boot, you have a total of 258 liters of space. Literally enough for a trip to the province and it will finally increase further to 851 liters when you fold all of the seats down. And just here today, enough for small bags and a full size umbrella. You can literally put it in and out with ease too. I forgot my camping chair. Dang it. Here is the interior once again of this Rio RS covered this many times already so I will mainly just talk about what I just discovered since I have this for quite some time now and let's start off here with the air conditioning control since the weather here in the Philippines is scorching hot unlike ever before in our country anyways still get physical buttons here throughout but there's this max cool feature at least you don't have to spam the buttons just all the way to go to the highest setting of the aircon itself everything here is mainly the same since the pre phase lift model but one very good upgrade with this uh, 2024 model years you still have a 7 inch infotainment system but this time there's an addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to make things even better there's even Bluetooth merely just in case how to connect your devices here by the way is through this wire here through the glove box so it's a little bit messy it's a bit of a weird location but hey at least there still is yes there is no USB ports here at all in the center console just this thing but it's positioned really well so the wire does not get eaten at all here on the side even Honda themselves designed that pretty cleverly so you won't have to worry your wire about uh, getting eaten at all on either side of the glove box you have a lot of cup holders here too one here on the door only small ones will fit here including in front here of the gear lever itself there's two of them just small ones yet again will fit and you're wondering where my gigantic Bosch water jug will fit just one right here at the back and I didn't discover this when I drove this for the first time here back in the Honda Cars Manila Bay on the right front passenger door there are actually two handles one you can act as a cubby space for your phone but driving it high speed it's a little bit flimsy so your phones might tend to fall down or fly away in the back seats and speaking of the back seats the rear seats is very good I had Three of my high school friends sit there in the back. They fit there with ease, therefore making this one of the more spacious hatchbacks in this class. Steering wheel throughout the Brio lineup is all polyurethane, but still nice to the touch. You only get 
tilt here there's no telescopic function for this thing but the diving position I'm a small person by the way I find it really really good feels more like race car ish than usual only buttons here on the left side for your radio controls and as well this Brio top of the line brand has six speakers all around there are one of the best stock speakers I've ever heard there's a lot of bass with this below the air conditioning controls you get more cubby spaces and a for shades and more RFIDs there's one two here on the left side and further down below you get a 12 volt socket only and an extra cubby space where you can make your handy fan sleep gear shift you have PR DNSF and a manual handbrake further here in the middle seats too are a highlight for me even though these are just fabrics and hence a top of the line model you get red stitching and sticks here in the cushions and surprisingly for fabric seats kinda Harder than usual, but it still hugs you really tight. The bolstering is pretty good, and diving this around in the twisties, the seat kept me in check at all times. And one of the more comfortable uh, fabric seats uh, I've tried. Even though this is, I said, a little bit harder than usual, but as an all-rounder, these seats nevertheless are very, very good. Now driving this Honda Brio RS, I gotta say, this is one of the best small hatchbacks I've ever driven. Hence the titles of my first walk around review and this quick test drive. It's literally the same title, but you notice this title is a bit different, so it's not repetitive. This Honda Brio RS, well, all Brios in general, it's light, it's peppy, fun to drive. I can see why there are a lot of these cars on our roads and one thing that you have to be aware of is the ground clearance. It is at 135 millimeters, which is the same like with the Honda City RS hatchback, my first ever land out from Honda Cars Philippines. They may have the same ground clearance, but I noticed this one's just a little bit lower than usual. It's because of that rubber chin. Yeah, you may tend to scrape that a lot however it won't be such of a big issue since you're not gonna hit the front bumper all in all and then here cornering handling this is why the honda Brio is one of the most popular cars that you can buy too as a budget entry level car too in general because it's easy to drive and like here rolling at 50 60 kilometers per hour it is very much chill and this is what i noticed in my the longest time i've driven this honda brio rs is the tire noise you can hear it present here in the cabin however once you go up at higher speeds yes you may hear it a lot more than usual but it's not as bad as i thought and comparing with the rest of the competition in its class and i would say the nvh overall here with this honda brio is a segment leader however one nitpick again uh, driving this for almost four days now well it's the same like with other reviews I've seen to uh, with this Honda Brio there is no reverse camera for this I'm only saying this as a point because there are other cars already equipped with a reverse camera but this Honda Brio makes up for it that you have reverse sensors at least but that's only one of the few drawbacks with this Brio RS now for the good stuff Okay, like what I said with the Honda City RS hatchback, Honda make one of the best CVTs out there. No joke, this one, even though you're just in drive mode, like here, just floor it a bit, there's just a little bit of a delay. However, it's one of the more responsive CVTs that I've tried out. Well, if you're comparing with the rest of the Japanese uh, CVTs out there, this is among one of the best out there. It's very responsive to the point you're from a standstill even, like so. And then you can actually feel a surge forward like and that's not even in sport mode then there's the peppiness right there yes this engine will scream a lot however yeah you can hear it as i mentioned but it's not as bad as i once thought so this is one of the few cars you know i'm not a fan of cvts but this one i'm willing to make an exception and here even faster paces there's the tire noise but yet again it's not so loud so my case will still stand like again with the Honda City RS hatchback. This CVT acts more or less like a dual clutch transmission. Again here from a standstill, but this time let's now put it in sport mode. Oh, way more responsive and the acceleration of this is really really good I timed it and not in this close location by the way 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is done in 11.8 seconds for this little car that's actually one of the fastest too I'm very impressed with the performance of this despite to the sporty nature of 
this CVT with this beer. Most of the time I had it just let in dry good because it's that good. There's nothing else to complain about to be honest. And however, if you wanna go a bit faster, of course just put it in sport mode and you'll literally fly. I'm very imp again I will say I am very impressed with the performance of this. And I noticed on highway driving, when you put it in S mode, like so, it will keep the engine revs higher. So here, 50 kilometers per tricky, but if I shift to D mode, it will keep the revs lower than usual now. So we're now running on 2000 RPM. So yeah, that's what I mentioned, Honda make one of the best CVTs. It doesn't do uh, fake gearing whatsoever. The CVT is wondrous in this car i really mean it speaking of stability too if you plan to drive this in the twisties expect a lot of fun i see why that this is a great platform for me amongst racers out there i mean i have a friend who literally just won the debut of the gymkhana practice which i'll join very soon hopefully honda please uh just kidding aside so now for the thumb card of this Honda Brio RS is its fuel efficiency. Despite being a four-cylinder engine and the only one yet again in its class, this is one of the most fuel efficient cars that you can buy out there today. So here, just slow, steady city driving, I manage a whopping 13.2 kilometers per liter. And if you plan to drive this on heavy Friday rush hour payday traffic, you can get as much as 8.4 kilometers only, aka the Honda magic number as I keep getting before in my early reviews with Honda vehicles. Sorry for my outfit because this media unit doesn't have tint whatsoever. So here around, uh, like overtaking 70, 80 kilometers per hour, there is tire noise present. However, it doesn't translate that much here into the cabin, which makes this the best in class of NVH. And to the right of this is very stable and I'm very impressed with the tire noise of this Honda Brio RS and two, the fuel economy is what impressed me the most here too so my maximum here was around 26 kilometers per liter so again, despite being not a hybrid but a very small hatchback it's one of the most fuel efficient cars I've ever driven now for the cost of all of this so the Honda Brio starts at 735,000 pesos with the S manual variant now it tops out with this RS top of the line variant at 853,000 pesos well 863,000 pesos for this specific one with the black top so more or less it's not a factor if you want this or not however no matter what if you get the RS it will still look very very good yeah that's pretty much it with this Honda Brio RS one more time Hi baby. Again, one of the better performing small hatchbacks that you can buy now. That you're like already in the national speed limit. That's very very good performance with this Honda Brio. So again, this concludes my review and lend out review of this Honda Brio RS. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Honda Cars Philippines for the lend out of this Brio RS top of the line model and to Honda Cars Manila Bay and to Miss Cesar Reyes for assisting me here in this test drive. So there will be more collaborations that I'll do here in not just with Honda Cars Philippines as well here too at Honda Cars Manila Bay. So they're very good friends of mine. They've been accepting uh, reviews from me too since I was an inkling. <laughs> so so yeah, hope you guys like and subscribe and hopefully in the future we will have more Honda Landouts and one of my favorite cars of all time. Bye bye.